What's up guys, welcome back to Mud Love Alternative. Real quick story time. Um, about a week ago, I sat down and recorded about six hours of this game. And uh, jump ahead another about a week, you know, today, the current day, as I'm recording this. And I, just, uh, I get home from work and I'm like, alright, time to edit videos. Need to get my two videos edited for the day. So I sat down, got all nice and ready to record, to, not record, to edit some videos. Realized, oh, I'm running a bit low on footage over here. I need to tap into my previous recording session that I recorded about a week ago. Lo and behold, I found out that my face cam footage was corrupted. There was no audio, no video. The file was totally corrupted, and it could not be recovered. So now I have six hours of useless footage that I now have to re-record. So that's lovely. So unfortunately, I gotta tell you straight up right now up front, big disclaimer. I know, obviously I know everything that's about to happen in the next six hours of gameplay. I do. I really wish it wasn't this way. I really wish I could give you an auth you know, authentic reactions to everything. It just, it just, I don't know. Obviously my mood is going to be a bit different when I go into these other moments or like in the moments leading up to like the big these big moments the little fucking peaceful moments leading up to that Obviously my attitude's going to be a lot different because I know what's coming So yes, unfortunately, I know everything that's about to happen in the next six hours, of course I have not finished the entire game for sure But uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. All right, I'm sorry because as much of an inconvenience as it is on me, it also ruins the uh, viewing pleasure, I'd assume. But uh, this, this is just where we're at. So now I have to re-record everything. Yo, know, it's late. <laughs> I just got home from work. I'm tired. I need a shower. I need to fucking go to bed. But that's not an option right now because I need this footage so I can actually edit the, vi the video. <laughs> But regardless, I'm gonna stop rambling and ranting about all that because it's only gonna make, it's only gonna run my time even longer. Where we are pre picking up right now, let me remember here. This is just after uh, fucking what's her face Yuko uh, tells us that everyone we interact with is going to uh, eventually lose their memories of us. The more we, the more we together interact with these people. They're going to slowly lose their memories more. The more they think about us, the quicker they'll lose their memories was another thing. Um, that's about the gist of it. You know, the other big moment happened in the previous recording session, but I don't want to talk about it. So, I'm picking up from there. Let's just go. What am I supposed to do now? I can't see anyone anymore. I can't talk to anyone. Anyone who acknowledges my existence is going to forget me sooner or later. Even my grandma out in the countryside, who I never see or talk to, is going to forget me eventually, as more and more people stop recognizing me. I've got nowhere left to go. Well, actually, that's not true. Technically, I could go anywhere I want, it's just that no one will ever know my name. That sounds awful. How the hell could anyone live like that? Like a pebble on the side of the road that nobody even notices. I don't get it. All I'm doing is standing here watching people go by, and yet it feels like if I moved a muscle I'd break down and cry. Some people want to run off and be alone when the going gets rough, but right now, I'm the complete opposite. Yeah, crowded places can be pretty irritating, because they're loud and you don't really have the freedom to walk at your own pace. Even as I stand here right now, I'm kind of wishing I was someplace a little quieter. But the only reason I feel that way is because I know every other, I know other people are looking at me and are aware of my existence. Pretty soon, even just standing in a crowd of people like this is going to be miserable. At that point, I'll be grateful just to be around other people at all. Even if they're total strangers I've never seen in my life, random passers-by who will never remember my name. I'll never be able to feel this kind of claustrophobia again. Once it gets to that point, what am I even going to live for? Will I just have to wait and pray that Yuko-sensei finds a solution? I'm not sure I can do that. Hmm? S Sumika? Oh, believe me, I had plans today. <laughs> huh? Oh, well, uh... Uh, not exactly. Stop it. You can't keep talking to her. Don't. Get lost. God damn it. 
<laughs> this is something I'm gonna hate too, because there's there's several moments throughout the next six hours that just tug on my heartstrings a little bit. And now I have to fucking rewatch them all over again, so that's gonna be lovely. But anyway, moving on. Stay away from me. I'm sorry, Suhika. That's right, I'm a jerk. Now don't come any closer. Don't even talk to me. Oh, I'm in quite a mood. I'm not being weird. Stop saying that. Oh, you bet I'm in a bad mood. I'm sorry, I just like she says something about a present, and I'm trying to remember. I don't think we ever find out what that present is. <laughs> huh? Do we? Show us the pre What's the present? What is the present? I don't remember. Does she give us the present? I don't remember. Wait, you know what day it is? You remember that too? Sumika still remembers everything. She hasn't forgotten a thing. Does this mean Yuko Sensei's hypothesis was right? Yes, and then you're left to either push her away or talk to her. Which. In the original recording of this, I chose to talk to her. I chose to bite the bullet and talk to her. I don't think it makes a difference either way. I think you're going to get the same thing no matter what. Pretty much. Wait, did... Did I? Wait. I chose to talk to her, right? I'm going to bring up the previous recording session here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Watching about the footage, it's, it's very clear that no matter what you pick, it kind of leads to the same outcome. Especially knowing what does happen, so yeah, just click talk to her. Fuck it. You... remembered? <laughs> Sumika remembers me. She hasn't forgotten. <laughs> no. Oh, nothing. Uh, something came up. Probably not a good idea. Huh? But... Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, I'm gonna be kind of... I'm not trying to skip over all the lines, but I'm gonna be trying to expedite things a bit. <laughs> because, like I said, I'm tired. Sumika hasn't lost a single memory since I came back. So does so doesn't that mean Yuko Sensei's hypothesis was right? And Sumika really is the safest one? But what if it's just a fluke? That her memories have that her met ugh, let me reread that. But what if it's just a fluke? That her memories haven't been erased. If talking to her more is gonna make her forget about me. If she were to look at me like I was a complete stranger, if I ever had to see that happen. You sure are, aren't you? I wouldn't be able to bear it. No, I can't do it. We can't do this, Sumika. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to cancel. Sorry, gotta go. I can't stand the idea of Sumika seeing me as a stranger. I have no idea whether pushing her away will prevent that. But... Fuck it, you know what, I don't care there's, there's a train coming through. Normally I, I, I pause recordings when trains come by, because I live right next to some train tracks, but fuck it. 
Nope, fuck it. We're go I'm reading right through as the trains go by. You're, you're gonna hear a train in the fucking background. You're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, this recording session's already a fucking mess. Let's just fucking keep adding to it. Let's go. But... Just stop. Don't come near me. Sorry, but I really can't talk to you anymore. I just can't. I don't care if you think I'm weird, just don't follow me. You just can't, okay? You don't have to be okay with it. Just stop talking to me. I need you to get away from me, please. <laughs> oh, sad Subica, I fucking hate it. <laughs> You'd think I'd be desensitized to it, having seen it several times before now, but nope. It doesn't get any easier to see. Aww. Simica seriously looks like she's about to cry. How many years has it been since I saw her like this? We get into fights all the time, but it always turns into a some stupid comedy. Some stupid? <laughs> some stupid comedy routine sooner or later. No matter what we say or how we insult each other. Hell, even if we hit each other, we always know the other person doesn't really mean it. I just realized I do not have my mic set up how I normally do. <laughs> this is how I normally have it set up, right? Like this. <laughs> Add it backwards. Whatever. Keep going. <laughs> she doesn't cry like this because she knows it's all in good fun. I only tease her so much because I know she won't take it personally. And yet, look at her now. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, yanked on my headphone cords there. Uh, this, this recording session truly is cursed. Anyway, <laughs> God damn it. God fucking damn it. It doesn't matter. Just leave me alone. No. <laughs> no, don't do this. I hate this so much. <laughs> Let go. No. <laughs> this is for the best. If the alternative is Sumika forgetting everything, then she can go ahead and think I'm an asshole. I just don't want her to forget me. And see, that's the thing. Like the choice we were just given, the 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 choice we were given was either talk to her or push her away. Clearly, in the end, you end up pushing her away eventually, anyway. So, like I said, I don't think the choice really matters at all. Even if I have to hurt her to prevent it, I'm okay with that. What am I saying? No, I'm not. This is bullshit. Why do I have to say these things to her? I'm sorry, Sumika. I'm so sorry. <sighs> what do I do now? I mean, what can I do? Nothing I try is going to make any difference. I'm just going to spend the rest of my life alone. I'm not sure I can deal with that. I mean... Look how helpless I feel already. I'm getting pretty sleepy. Oh, tell me about it. What would happen if I just fell asleep right here? Who knows? Maybe I'd die. It is winter after all. <laughs> My last birthday in this world was nothing like this. Everyone worked so hard to throw me a big surprise party. Even skiomi san and the three idiots chipped in to help. I've had a lot of great birthdays in my life, but never on that scale. It was so festive and fun. I can't believe it took something like this for me to realize how lucky I was. I should have savored it more while I had the chance. Why did I take everything for granted? Damn it. Why do I have to. What do I have to live for at this point? Maybe freezing to death out here wouldn't be all that bad. It's probably this cold that's got me feeling so tired. Maybe if I fall asleep here, I can act peacefully in my sleep without feeling any pain. <laughs> <laughs> and here I was, and here I was the one. Oh, fuck, let me read this. And here I was. God damn, why can't I read this? And here I was. What the fuck? And here I was the one who got so afraid of dying, so traumatized by it, that I ran away from everything. But now, at the end of it all, I'm practically begging for it all to end. I'm such a goddamn hypocrite. 
それ以前に自分で消しちゃうこともあるかも Damn, Yuko Sensei. You sure are incredible. What the? It's so warm all of a sudden. What's going on? R. Kelly, is that you? Ah, no, much better. No way. What are you doing here? God, I can't help it. One look at her face and it all falls away. Sure does. <laughs> I'm trying to die. Let me die, please. Why did you follow me? Freezing, huh? Wait, what the? I was wondering why my hands felt so warm. Aren't these... Sumika's gloves? それ、タケルちゃんがくれたやつだよ。Why do you still have these ratty old things? 子供の頃にそんな大きいのくれるんだもん。最近。You dork. あったかいでしょ。さすがタケルちゃんのプレゼントだよね。Oh please. Why are you here? After all that stuff I just said. 謝れ。<laughs> Damn it. I want Sumika to forget about me. I'm more afraid of that than anything. I want to be with her forever. I can't imagine her looking at me as if I were a complete stranger. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't cool, it doesn't even begin to describe it, but you know, yeah, we'll just say it wasn't cool. So I can't. I can't lean on her anymore. Well, I mean. You're not leaning on her, you're laying on her. Those are two separate things, my dude. Go home. And take these with you. That's just uncalled for. That's just uncalled for. Stop caring about me. Go away. Sumika. <laughs> Stop, Sumika. Don't do this. Please, just go home. <laughs> Sumika! You didn't do anything wrong. It's all my fault. God damn it, I hate seeing Sumika sad. It fucking kills me. Why can't I just lie and say she did? You couldn't. Even if I told you, you wouldn't get it. What makes you so sure? Trust me, you'd never understand. Don't think grades play a part in this situation, but sure. Please, no more. Just let it go. I'm begging you. There's no way you'll understand this. You'll just think I'm crazy. I'm telling you, it doesn't make any sense. Dumbass. Why are you making this so difficult? <laughs> I fucking hate this. God, you're such an idiot. <laughs> God damn it. Trust me, I do. <laughs> Damn it, Simika. <gasps> mm. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't do crying noises. Not well, anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna. I know I, I, I said that the last in the original recording of this moment. <laughs> like, no, I don't do crying noises. But then, um, as I was editing footage, I realized that uh, during uh, Madumo's second death, I actually attempted crying noises, which I apologize for now because that was god awful. I don't do crying noises. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> and when I came to, I was in a completely different world. One where humanity was at war with these weird monsters. Mm. So then I walked, r walked up to where our school was supposed to be, right? There was a military base sitting there instead. Mm. But May and the others were still there. So were some of our teachers. It's just like our world in a lot of ways. No, you weren't. No, trust me. That's a good thing. To be honest, when I found out you weren't a part of that world, it was a huge relief. It made me really happy, you know that you didn't have to live in that hellhole. <laughs> right, so we were all doing our best to fight those monsters, but eventually I guess we all got wiped out. <laughs> Just kind of spaced it, I don't know. Some shit happened, man. I don't know. After we lost, everything got all fuzzy. It's all just a blur, basically. And then, when I came to again, it was like the world had completely reset. But I still remember the fact that we lost. I was still just as physically fit as I'd been before the reset. So basically, I swore not to let us lose again. And since I remembered how things happened last time, I tried to change history. At first, things went pretty well. My experience helped expedite a lot of things. And eventually, all new events started popping up. I even came up with a super advanced TSF operating system, which was actually based on Valgernon, of all things. You see, they never had video games over there, so it was like a totally foreign concept to them. Facts. Yeah, I was pretty popular. For a while, I was convinced I really could save the world. Our very first exercise was gr after graduating from the training academy was interrupted by an enemy ambush. I went completely berserk and couldn't do anything. Would have died if one of the higher ranking soldiers hadn't saved me. I really beat myself up, beat myself up over that. I just sat out there wallowing in my own misery until Madama-chan came to check on me. Yeah, Madama-chan was our instructor. She was way stricter and way more intimidating over there, but still kind-hearted underneath it all. She spent a long time consoling me, just when I was finally starting to calm down. She died. I watched her get killed by the enemy right before my eyes. I was so scared that I used this crazy machine Yuko-sensei made to come back here. This was all the day before the Mar Machan you knew got murdered, by the way. Call me a coward if you like. All I wanted was to come home and go back to my boring old life. That's all. But as soon as I did, Madamachan died here too. I asked Yuko-sensei about it. She said it was my fault. She said I carried Madamachan's death back here with me. That's true. Guess you could call it my punishment for running away. No matter where I go, there's no escaping it. It's my fault Madamachan died. I'm just getting what I deserve. You probably don't believe a word I just said, do you? Sumika. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> the shit he's been through, that'd be some difficult shit to like... 
to fucking hide, for sure. If you really believe me, then get out of here. If you believe what I just told you, then you need to stay the hell away from me. If you keep talking to me, then sooner or later, you'll forget all about me. Arma-chan died over there, which is why she died over here. That won't happen to you guys, though. Instead, you'll just lose all your memories of me. Yuko-sensei said, I'm part of a conduit that connects our worlds. Everyone's memories of me are gonna get sucked in and flow out the other side. Yeah. Mm hmm So that's what that was, yeah. She's already started experiencing it. You've been what? Mm. See this this moment right here. In the original recording, I could tell right at this moment, I'm like, oh uh, yeah, things are about to fucking go to shit. <laughs> the moment Sumika implies that she's been having the memory issues as well, I'm like, oh god. And she started to be like, no, 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 I got under control, don't worry about it. I'm like, oh no, shit's about to go down. And boy, is it. The hell? What are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, 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 go ahead, try to detract from the subject, go ahead, try. I mean, actually, it works, because he doesn't press the matter any further, but... Well, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like, there's no evidence, is there? Well, there is. Why would you... And then she just keeps going, she's like, no, 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 shut up, I don't want to actually hear the evidence. <laughs> like, no, 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 don't tell me about the evidence, because if you tell me about the evidence, then I know, then I have to acknowledge the existence of the evidence. <laughs> Sumika. I'm afraid normal logic doesn't really apply here. Not anymore. Common sense went out the window a long time ago. Facts. The fact that I'm here at all is proof of that. Sumika. You will, though. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't happened yet, though. <laughs> That, that's your best argument you got for me, Sumika? <laughs> it's like, no, you will. No, but it hasn't happened yet, so I won't. <laughs> like, she herself even says the word, yet. <laughs> Implying that she fucking knows it's going to happen eventually. But I'm telling you, she's right. Sumi... I know that. But I'm telling you... I know. Same goes for me. Sumika, I'm telling you, you can't do this. Sumika. Sumika. God, you're such a dweeb, you know that.
You know, Sumika, maybe you really are different. Yeah, you'd like to think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> maybe you really will remember me. Yeah, you'd like to think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you might be the only one who can. Hate to sound like a broken record here, my guy. Oh my god.